I mean, if you look at the year going out, uh, the January print looks almost comical in, in, in retrospect, if in fact those forecasts come to fruition. This good you to welcome back to the channel, Tonic Fam, Crow Fam. I am back with some more bullish content for you guys in this video. In this video, we're going to go through a video talking about the GDP data, how it could affect the markets as we know it. And if you checked out my previous video, you'll see how much the markets are correlated to the stock market. The stock market today is making a, a nice open and you know, it is green all around in the stock market at the open and bell. So guess what is green as well? Crypto, digital assets, right? Risk on assets. So we're going to dive deep into that in this video. If this is something that you're interested in, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell really helps the channel out guys and if you can please become a channel member for shout outs and you know any new information i come across uh specifically for members guys it also will help to uh you know support the channel so i could continuously make this content for you guys in this video also support all my previous videos guys give them give them a rewatch you know let's get them all to a thousand views a piece we see Tonic right now sitting at $22.9 million in market cap, 135K in 24-hour trade volume. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, right? We're seeing after we had this move up, we're in a sideways accumulation. We had a nice little green uh, breakout just now around 2%. Uh, markets were looking a bit greener when the stock market opened it started it was a lot greener uh, earlier, guys. And if we take a look at the stock market right now, look at this. S&P 500, NASDAQ up 0.82% green, the, uh, the S&P 500 up 1%, 1.14%, and that is uh, helping the lead market mover to be bullish. Bitcoin is being bullish right now, so trust that Crow is up 1.73% as well uh, today, and you know, uh, following the lead market mover, and Tonic is following Crow, right? and it's great to see guys it's great to see green days but you know we always will have cor corrections along the way because that is normal you can't just go up forever right so i can't wait until phase two of crow gets unveiled you know uh shout outs to the crow fam and shout outs to the tonic fam because when phase two of crow unveils it's going to be crazy i have to show you guys something as well before i get into the video layer two uh transactions let's see because uh phase two of crow will introduce um layer two technology zk zero knowledge roll-ups right and look at look at this graph right here we have the top layer two roll-ups by transactions in the last seven days so we have arbitrum number one optimism number two zk sync arbitrum nova immutable x when crow initializes that phase two and starts to get into the zk uh technology for itself that is going to draw so much more attention to uh crow guys that is going to draw a lot like a whole lot of attention to crow right they, they had a certain time where Arb arbitrum's uh transactions surpassed ethereum one of the top the second you know the second uh biggest project in the space right um literally surpassed ethereum in transactions arbitrum did because it's a zk roll up i i test out i tested it out myself went on to the blockchain bridged over my ethereum to arbitrum just to test it out and it was super fast like you you hit confirm on the transaction and it was just doop, split second late, later no three seconds just a split second later the transaction went through i was like whoa this is super fast like blip <laughs> right so for crow crow right here to go into uh let's take let's take a look once again chronos phase two have a bit of allergies guys so i'm a bit sniffly right now uh my apologies uh but yeah when we take a look at chronos phase two introducing zk technology oh uh, that is gonna be so bullish right that is gonna oh man that is gonna make crow such a huge competitor to you know the top blockchains in the space that is going to be super bullish for crow and super bullish for tonic as well guys so keep an eye out for that whenever phase two of chronos takes place now we have this video right here uh from uh cnbc television 
talking about the GP GDP data and how it will probably soft soften as we move into spring by JP Morgan's Michael Faroli. The softening of GDP data is actually bullish for the market. So let's take a look. JP Morgan's chief U.S. economist, Michael Faroli. Michael, our thanks to you. It's great to see you again. I know you've said recently that the data has had some hawkish implications and you did raise your Q1 uh, GDP forecast. Is there a sense that that batch of data is going to be softening in the coming months? So I do think, you know, January probably got supported by some one-off factors, including, you know, bigger Social Security payments, uh, better weather, perhaps some quirks with seasonal adjustments. So I wouldn't want to take all... So he was, he was, he had a hawkish tour when it came to GDP, and we could take a look right here with the GDP data. Now, the, what was very interesting to me is that when the GDP fell to like 1.63, 0.58, Technically, we're supposed to already be in a re uh, recession, but they didn't call it a recession, right? So, hey, whatever they say goes, I guess, you know, but this is why I'm in crypto, man. I need decentralization. I need control. Of, I need freedom, right? But right here, we could see the GDP data making a move back up, right? We could see the GDP data uh, turning around, and that is great. Well, the January data and extrapolate that out. Uh, in coming months. So I do think we probably soften a little bit here uh, as we move into the spring. Uh, that said, I think what you saw in the jobless claims this morning is uh, continued resilience in, uh, in the labor market. And as long as the labor market is holding in uh, like that, I think the economy will continue to expand. And that's why we've you know, been marking up certainly current quarter growth. But we do think over time, the economy should slow. Uh, given the lag effects of all these rate hikes, but we're not seeing that in a very um, clear and convincing way in the latest round of data. Right. A lot of the forecasting charts we've been looking at. So the rate hike should slow, guys. It's just going to take time. It, it is lagging right now for the, rate hike, for the rate hikes to fully take effect, but it takes time. At least inflation is coming down, right? So this is why I say this year, We'll see the rate heights take full effect and everything take full effect in the in the global markets. And then that's how we'll see correlate to crypto as we get more and more bullish. Right. It's going to be an accumulation phase this year or going into the, sh the midterm. My apologies, the midterm. Right. Maybe six, six months, seven months of accumulation or so till we start to see that full flip to, you know, just everything bullish. Everything is up only. Right. Say on payroll. I mean, if you look at the year going out, uh, the January print looks almost comical in, in, in retrospect, if in fact those forecasts come to fruition. Did the January number do anything to, to move the overall trend forecast for you? So, you know, I do think there is some noise, uh, I'm sorry, some news in the January report. And so that is, uh, you know, I think of consequence, we added another rate hike for our view because of that. Uh, we do think, uh, so it's not, we don't want to totally throw away a jobs report. That said, I do think it probably uh, behooves one to smooth through these things and look at them on, say, a three-month average basis uh, to not get too carried away by just one, uh, one month's number. So one month's number was, you know, dovish or bullish, whichever term you want to use. And uh, as we see play out, this is how we'll flip even more and more bullish, guys. And I have a tweet. I have a tweet about the GDP data as well in my bookmarks hold on so GDP is growing and beers think they will have a, a black Monday so even the GDP uh, data is getting more and more bullish guys more dovish and that is great for us right it's just patience DCA diamond hand wait for the bull that's it I really do believe the bottom is in okay that's me if I'm wrong we'll see what happens but I, th I really think the bottom is in Tonic fam, Crow fam, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really appreciate all the support. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you enjoyed the video. And also become a channel member to support the channel. It really helps the channel out. You could get updates on uh, any, things I'm re any of the things I'm researching and shout outs in my future videos as well. Once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.